Hello everyone, Matt Miller here, Dean of Online Instruction. Just uh, wanted to catch up with you and as you're working to prepare for the mini semester or the spring semester uh, in Canvas, uh, many of you have asked me uh, as you're building your classes, you know, Matt, how do I get buttons into my classes? So you can see I'm in Amanda Morrison's government class that she taught this fall. And you can see that she has out here on her course homepage um, a several little buttons that will she can you can use to navigate to various areas of the course. For, for example, here's the syllabus. If I click on it, it will take you to her course syllabus and so on. You know, as you know, when you do edit a page in Canvas, uh, you can choose to um, simply highlight various bits of text that you want to link to. Uh, and then over on the right hand side, you can link it to various uh, areas within your course, whether it be quizzes, announcements, assignments, discussions, or, or different pages. Or you can also link it to various files, much like she's done here uh, with the syllabus. So you have that ability uh, in Canvas already, but how does she get these little buttons out here? Uh, and, and essentially, uh, I want to show you how to do that today. So uh, let's flip over to a course that I have here very quickly, and you'll see that I have. Uh, an empty course. Let's go back home. Just an empty course that we will use for training. Uh, and you can see that I have a home page here that really has nothing there. And of course, my home page is simply a page. So if on your menu you go to your pages and view all of your pages, then you can see all the various pages that you have in your course. And of course, you can add more pages here as well as on the module page uh, if you choose to. And remember, pages are just blank uh, content pages that allow you to then add text, uh, images, video, information, links to other areas of your course, all of those things that you can use as a vehicle to navigate your students around your course or to provide them information. So uh, on my welcome page, again, it's just a big nothing, big empty there. So if I wanted to add some buttons there, uh, one of the things that you can choose to do uh, and what Professor Morrison and several others have done is if you actually go to uh, a couple of different websites, uh, one of them, as you can see here, is called Dub Button Factory, D A B U T T O N Factory.com. And you can see that you can add text, you can choose different colors uh, for your buttons. If you would rather make this a, another, uh, another color here, uh, you can choose to do that. Um, kind of a deeper color there. You can see that I just made that button, and it'll, it'll give you a bit of a preview there. Uh, notice that you can also change the uh, uh, the uh, style of the button to make it a little less rounded or so on. And then of course you can add your text here, whatever it is you want. Okay, I'm going to actually go back and make mine a nice uh, Navarro College red. Give it kind of a deeper color there. There we go, very nice. And now you can see that I've changed the wording a little bit there and also changed the uh, change the uh, uh, different shape of my button as well. So you can do this. And then what you do is once you have it the, looking the way you want to, is you can actually download this button to uh, an area on your computer. I just created a folder called Course Buttons. And here I can put in uh, my different buttons or my syllabus button. And then I could go in and make the change for uh, you know week one. And I can download that. Notice it's giving me the name week one in there. So I don't have to really do anything there. Week two, whatever kind of navigation things I choose to make, I can simply just make them here and then save them. Okay. And we'll do one more. Okay. So once you have those uh, buttons created, and my click here to begin is a little different looking than the other one. So I'm going to make it the same. Buttons are just nice calls to action. They're very visual. 
uh, they, uh, they, they kind of give the students sort of a direction in the course of what to do next. And so you can use buttons at various places within your course on any page or any of your announcements or whatever you have there. Anywhere there's a rich text content editor, you can add these buttons as images and then link them to your courses. In addition to this buttonfactory.com, another nice site is called Button Optimizer. Button Optimizer gives you the ability to create buttons, change the colors as we did before. But if you'll also notice that you can put little icons in there, you just search for the icon, it'll put a little icon next to it as well. It will also animate your button a bit. So if you see my mouse is, is scrolling over the button, notice how it changes appearance slightly uh, in order to do that. So again, you can download this as an image. Uh, just like we did the other ones, and then you can add that to your course as well. So either whether you choose uh, buttonoptimizer.com or whether you choose uh, dot button factory or any other type of button creator, uh, there's a lot of free ones on the internet. So you can just Google search button creator for web or whatever, and it will give you a whole bunch of different options there uh, that you can choose from. And once you have your buttons ready to go, then it's a matter of just simply putting them in your course. Now, adding the images by themselves um, may or may not work. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually go out to my image area over here on the right-hand side. And I want to just upload new images. So I'm going to choose the file folder where my uh, images live. And here I can just start uploading my, my images. Okay, and just kind of do them one at a time. Just upload, just keep going with that. Notice it'll have really any form yet, that's okay. Upload. Good three. All right, upload that. Okay. What might be preferable, you know, in addition to your text here, you know, oops, <laughs> let me do that. Let me do that again. There we go. Um, so in addition to uh, uh, simply putting the Im images out there, you may want to actually have them arranged in some kind of an order. And one of the things that uh, several professors have done is to actually use the table in the rich text content editor. So here you have a table out here. So if you want to align these in a specific way, you won't be able to just click and drag them around the page. However, if you do make a quick table, so for example, I can make you know, one for each of my uh, my buttons there, and then just create a table here. Now I can click and drag these items within the table, and it'll actually line up a little bit better. Okay, line up a little bit better than what I had before. Okay. Once I have them in there, of course, I can adjust the sizes on them a little bit if I wanted to, to make them a little more uniform, um, just by clicking and dragging the little items over there. It will mess up your text a little bit, so you can just kind of choose how you wish to make that uh, uh, appear on your on your site. Uh, and then what you can do there is simply click on an item, like for example, the syllabus, and I want to link to the syllabus file. Remember, I just click on the item, select it, go over to Files, and then I can choose basically the course syllabus, whatever that might look like. Okay. And then there it will link to that course syllabus page there. And then on pages, if I want to link to other pages, I have a week one here. I can just go over here to links, choose pages, and choose my week one introduction, my week two introduction, and then highlight and week three introduction. And so what that will do now in my course when I save this. is it will set those buttons out here then and I, it'll actually let me navigate to the various areas of the course okay 
might not be a bad to have on each of the pages here maybe a return to home kind of button that will take them back to the home page uh, for the course and you can see it there this is not pretty by any stretch uh, you would obviously want to put more time and effort into creating the button but I just wanted to show you quickly how using the button factory or buttonoptimizer.com these two websites can actually help you create buttons that you can put in your courses you can have links to your e email address if you want to say contact your professor or whatever uh, the, the sky's the limit so uh, have fun with buttons and uh, just give me a shout if you have any problems or questions about this video or anything else that has to do with Canvas and, and good luck. Thanks a lot.